Yo, what up, it's Don. Same here. Soul Brothers back up in it with a versus video. Same designer. Same designer, very similar shoe. Yeah, similar to everything, you know? Yeah. So Except think, for the price. Except for the price. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. These so, are nuts, $200. Yeah, they are, those are old, but a lot of you guys want to see the versus video. I think this would be interesting. Yeah. So uh, this is the Converse All-Star Pro BB for 140 bucks, and that's the Kobe AD NXT 360 for 200 when it came out for yeah. the retail price. Yeah. Uh, if you guys want to cop either, I don't know about the Kobe's, but if you guys want to cop the Converse, it should be avail available on their site, so I'll leave a link in the description box. But let's get start off with the Tractionaise. And uh, yeah, Converse is a lot better. Mm. Uh, as, as far as like every single category goes. I, I mean, on a clean court, the Kobe 360 is still really good, mm -hmm. but the Converse has a, maybe a little bit better of a bite. On dust, the Kobe 360 sucks. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't like very, it was not very good. Yeah, very inconsistent. And then yeah. also very non-durable. Yes. Uh, nubs ripping off frame pretty fast, which is kind of a bummer, but you don't have that issue in the Converse, right? Yeah, the rubber is a lot harder and there's really no fraying or any, and there's a little bit of fraying, but it's, it's, it, that's, just, that's normal. You yeah. know, most basketball shoes, rubber does fray off. Yeah. So yeah, durability is better on dust. Uh, the Converse does pick up a little bit of dust, but it's a lot easier to wipe off. The Kobe's are really hard to wipe off. If dust is stuck on it, it's stuck on it. Yeah. So uh, yeah, the traction is way better in the Converse. Mm, nice. All right, moving on to cushion. Oh, all right. So also a very similar setup. Exactly, exactly. And Eric, Eric Avar is a genius, you know, yeah. with this drop in midsole setup with new sidewalk coming up for lateral containment and stuff like that, which we'll get into. Uh, so they both use React, but then the Converse is a lot stiffer. Mm. It's a lot stiffer, especially in the heel. The Kobe 360, there's so much compression. It's so soft in the heel. Yeah. Even like it's almost too much, you know, especially if you heel strike, it's so soft that when you, you know, land and like not, not even like a heel strike, but just like land like this, you can feel the cushion bottoming out and you can feel the floor sometimes if you yeah. really hard. Uh, the Converse is a little bit stiffer, so you don't feel that as much. And it's also like not as bouncy, not, not as much compression. Um, so yeah, if you like a lot softer of a cushion, go with the Kobe's. If you like more of a Responsive. Impact protection. Yeah, and like a little bit better impact protection. Yeah. Right. I mean like the impact protection is really good as far as just like Until not you bought them out. Exactly, like not yeah. hard impacts. But for hard impacts, the converse is a little bit better. Right. You know, and the, the feeling is a little bit more responsive, you know, a little bit stiffer in the converse. So uh, for me, I don't know, man. I really like how the Kobe's feel as far as like the softness and stuff. But like when I was playing and I did like hard landings, it, did, it didn't feel as good mm -hmm. for my feet. So right. it's kind of like a trade off there. So, um, I don't know. All right, moving on to the upper. Um, basically the same, I would say. Yeah, you have this kind of like uh, shiny material. Uh, this is quad fit in the, in the Converse. Yeah, quad fit and then 360 flying. Yeah, 360 flying it and just very, very breathable, thin, Yeah. Definitely. minimal. I mean, it's pretty crazy in both so, shoes. Yeah, so it's like the same, you yeah. know, but they did add fuse. Mm. The Kobe 360, uh, I really, the, and also Donnie Boy didn't really have any issues with the upper, like uh, ripping or anything. There wasn't yeah. any holes. And I put a ton of hours. Yeah, but the but, glue work is well. Yeah, the glue work was yeah. really bad, started coming off. Yeah, no issues with the Converse. Uh, also, if you do do toe drags, there there are there is a lot of fuse here in the toe area. Not a lot, it's still really thin and minimal, but like, uh, it'll help mm -hmm. for toe drags, you know, for durability and stuff like that. And uh, it doesn't really sacrifice it being soft and thin, you know? So I'd say the, the Converse is better. Right. I just don't like the materials in the ankle. You know, there's a lot of lint stuck on it and stuff. Yeah, it's like a it's canvas dirty. material. Yeah, I don't like it. If it's white, of course, it's getting super dirty. Exactly, exactly. But that canvas material, what they're doing is they're trying to keep a little bit of the old chuck aesthetic exactly. and bringing some of that canvas, which is kind of dope. Yeah. Uh, that they're doing that aesthetically, but um, moving on to fit. Fit, go down half a size for both of the shoes. They run a little long. Uh, the Kobe's run really long, so yeah. definitely go down. Uh, for the Converse, I went down half a size, and it's like really, really snug, and my toes mm. like right there. You know, I, I like that. I like it snug, but it might be a little snug even for me, so 
If you don't like that, I'd suggest going true to size, you know? Yeah, but the Kobe's are hella long. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So um, definitely will have a size down at least. Yeah, and then in the toe area, there's not a lot of toe space. It's, that's a snug fit there. And width-wise, I, I would say they're both slightly narrow. So if you have at all a wide foot, you should probably stay away from these or go up maybe even the full size, you know? But fit, I would say they're both good. Ease of putting on, they both suck. You know, it's, yeah. it, they're not that easy to put on, you know? Yeah, they're, these are an ordeal. Exactly. Those are, and those are a high, so you've got even more eyelids to deal with. Exactly, so there's that. Uh, moving on to support and lockdown, both amazing. You know, the, like I said, the sidewall coming up from the drop in midsole is great. You laterally contain, even though it looks so minimal and thin, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and also, like, I guess the Converse is a high. It's really flimsy, so you don't get, like, crazy ankle support, ankle uh, movement restriction, but it's a lot better than the Kobe's. Yeah. So if you like that, they're also making a low version. So, uh, but yeah, uh, ankle support, I guess, is a little bit better than this. Laterally, you're stable. You're not going to mm -hmm. be wobbling around or anything. So, uh, we'll tie it up there. Yeah. I guess this touch on weight. Uh, I think the Converse was lighter, wasn't it? Really? That's nuts. Because this is, uh, wow, 10.16. That's nuts. Yes. The 360s. 10.3. Wow. Yeah. It's that a is It's a little crazy. lighter. It's a little, I think it has something to do with the, the midsole. Yeah. The midsole, there's a, there's a little bit of a plastic piece. Well, it's also not pure React. Yeah, it's React slash Lunalon. Yeah. But like on the bottom, remember, there's like that plastic yeah. leaf foot shank. Uh, that doesn't, that, it's not included in the Converse. Right. Maybe, maybe because it's React core and then like the uh, perimeter is more like probably a stiffer uh, type of uh, like cushion. Mm -hmm. So they didn't need it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they need it in the React slash Lunalon combo. Mm -hmm. But anyways, yeah, you guys are right now. They're both... You're not really gonna notice like 0.2 ounces. Yeah. You're both super light. Maybe you're talking about light on your feet. It doesn't get much more light on your feet. Exactly, exactly. All right, just step in comfort. I would say the, the Kobe 360 is a little bit better as far as just like casually walking around. The cushion is a lot softer, so mm -hmm. yeah. Ventilation? Yeah, both really good. Yeah. Uh, durability? Converse. Converse for the win. That's definitely what they upgraded here. You yeah. Know, like the Kobe 360 is definitely not durable. And you're paying two hundred dollars for yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, aesthetics. Ooh, ooh I don't know, man. Really? Yeah, I like. I mean, I love them both, but these are all time for me here, I especially like, this color one. I like a decent one. Oh, like that. Let us know in the comments yes. which one looks better. But wrapping things up. Yeah, definitely the Converse is uh, a lot better. The only thing I kind of like better is just like the compression and softness of the cushion in the Kobe's. But other than that, everything is way better. You know, the yeah. uh, the traction is better. The, uh, the material is basically the same. They're both really nice, but it's more durable. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it's cheaper, $60 cheaper. Um, and in my opinion, it looks a little bit cooler. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, good job to Eric, you know, taking a, old, an old design and improving upon it and making the price better. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Converse All-Star Pro BB for the win. And if you do cop these, I'm excited to uh, hear your thoughts. Yeah, I'm gonna cop a pair. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope we helped you guys out, and we'll see you guys next time. Later. Peace.